In today's episode of Comics and Cosplay, I give you the history and background of Marvel's Cosmic Avengers Guardians of the Galaxy. So you would need to be living in an alternate universe to not have heard about Marvel Studios' upcoming film Guardians of the Galaxy. Now while some of you might know that there's a talking raccoon and tree character, not many people are intimately familiar with the entire cast of characters that are going to comprise of this film. So I thought it would be a great time to take this opportunity to go over some of the history and key players in the Guardians rich history. So with all that said, let's get started. So the Guardians are essentially Marvel's cosmic avengers. They're a group of super superheroes that have banded together to protect Earth from various alien invasions and other cosmic threats. They made their first appearance as a team in Marvel Super Heroes in 1969 and were created by Aaron Drake and Gene Colan. However, the team didn't have its first title book until 1990. So like the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy had a rotating cast of characters that came in and left the team. But some of the most prominent figures were Captain Vance Astro, Yondu, and Captain Charlie 27. And a key fact to note is that the original Guardians of the Galaxy were not a part of the Marvel 616, but rather an alternate universe. They wouldn't cross over to the 616 much later. And throughout their adventures, they often fought the Brood, another alien force that has continually plagued Earth. In 2008, Marvel would relaunch the series under the creative team of Dan Abbott and Andy Lanning. And this is the most prominent and most iconic run of Guardians of the Galaxy, and is which the current movie is based upon, including the tone as well as the cast of characters. And I have to admit, in my opinion, I think this is the best run of Guardians of the Galaxy ever. Now I know Bendis currently has a run on it, but I don't think it's really as good as it's capturing the fun, lighthearted nature as well as the kind of breaking the fourth wall, making fun of comics in general. And I think this is why everyone should definitely go pick this up if they enjoy the movie and want to learn more and enjoy more time with these characters. And just so you know, they're going to re-release the print version because it has been so popular and had such a huge demand. As well as if you can't wait, you can definitely go over to Comixology and pick it up the digital version today. This run of Guardians starts after the Annihilation Conquest series in the Marvel Universe, in which Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, the nominal leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy, decides to put together a team of heroes to protect Earth from various cosmic threats, and he goes about recruiting a ragtag group of heroes to do this such task. These members include Rocket Raccoon, who is basically a genetically modified raccoon who is a technical genius as well as strategic expert and heavy weapons expert. Next is Groot, which is a Flora Colossus from the planet X, which is essentially a plant-like creature that speaks in a language that is only composed of the words I am Groot, but can be interpreted and understood by different individuals that are more familiar with the language. Next on the list is Drax the Destroyer, which is a genetically altered human who was created to take on Thanos and was deemed right for the test since he wanted revenge against him for killing his family originally. And finally there's Gamora, the adopted daughter of Thanos. She was essentially taken in by Thanos once he came upon her, seeing that her entire family and race had been obliterated by the Kree in a previous invasion. And over the years, he would torture and train her to become one of the most lethal and deadly assassins. And while out on a mission for Thanos, she ultimately decided to switch sides and work on the side of Earth as well as the Guardians. Now while this is the core cast of the Guardians of the Galaxy, there are numerous other characters that make appearances and play a prominent role in this run. For example, there's Cosmo, the telepathic dog, which is the chief security of nowhere. And speaking of nowhere, nowhere is the headquarters of the Guardians of Galaxy, which is built out of the head of a dead celestial being and has the ability to transport the team anywhere in the universe. Now while this concludes our discussion of the Guardians of the Galaxy, there are a few other key players in the Marvel Cosmos that you need to know about to fully appreciate this movie. For example, there's Thanos the Mad Titan, who's essentially a cosmic warlord that wants to take over and destroy as much life as possible throughout the universe. He's doing this in hopes to please his love and infatuation with the personification of death itself. Next on the list are the Kree. Now this alien race and galactic empire are a continual and persistent threat to all of the universe as they're always trying to expand the reaches of their borders. And one of the chief leaders of the Kree is Ronan the Accuser. 
He's the head jurist and military leader for the Kree and is often in conflict with various Marvel superheroes. And he's the third most powerful being of the Kree and is seen as a persistent threat throughout the galaxy. So that wraps up my guide to the Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope this has been helpful and informative so you can better appreciate some of the finer details and plot points within the film. But I want to hear from you guys and your thoughts about Guardians of the Galaxy. Are you excited for the movie? Have you read some of the previous runs? And even, who is your favorite Guardian of the Galaxy? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Comics and Cosplay for more detailed updates and informational tidbits about the upcoming film. As well as, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for we have an upcoming detailed review of the film as well as the costumes within it. Well, as always, I'm your host Ian from Saturday Morning Cosplay and I'll see you on the con floor.